Everybody give a praise and glory to Yahweh Bashmi of Shah Bashmi Kakudash. Lord, they get double honors to the apostles of Jim Masu as well. Peace, blessing, salutation to Akim out there. Pushing for the truth and sincerity. And um, you aqua out tuning in. You know, a real woman that's, uh, you know, really know her place in this truth. You know, Israelite foreigners. Now, as, uh, you know, the jig is up on these so you know, so called Black Lives Matter. Which, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, he knows what he's doing when he went back to break down the family. And to, you know, another thing to, you know, break, you look into the the meaning of war, which is in the scripture, it tells you that, you know, you kill the man. And one thing about it, <laughs> it's very strategic how the way Esau did it. Because they need the manpower of you men, but they basically don't need you around. Pretty much what I'm saying is they took our masculinity away from the so-called black, Latino, Hispanic men. So now y'all are just bodies to keep pushing and keep building. Wow, they took your woman for the spoils of war and they rule over you. And, and as long as that bitch is in out of order, she she pretty much willing to keep you in check and, um, you know, pretty much dominate you to pretty much keep the the opposing force which is the so-called white man in power because because since he since so-called since Esau gives the black woman and these Latino women Hispanic women power and money and you know pretty much give them what their heart desire and give us a sense of freedom entitlement you know these women they, they can get they 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 don't go fuck about us you know they their own men but uh, I'm not going to be long. I do have a lot, count some a lot of scriptures, but I'm just juggle between them, you know, because you know this the the greed of our people. You know the the you know the money, this thing, this whole um aspect of uh, our people just chasing money and this money just gonna help everything. It, it, it's all bullshit. You know, one thing that's coming out of one of Red Pill channels is that. You know, at least with men, they look out for the nation. But when when the Israelite woman get money, she thinks about herself, and the, you know, she tries to up one on up uh, up one over the their own woman. I mean, bit uh, slaki. They they want to up one over, you know, the, their own women. Uh, you know, of the, of the same nation. You know, you get a so called black woman money. She pretty much want to shun. And look better than the next so-called black woman. And it's a continuing um, cycle. And what she's doing is pretty much she's giving the mo that money right back. Esau. Basically, you know, Esau is the, is the pimp. But uh, as it says, Ken is Owens mansion buys. Mansion by proves black lives matter. Founder Kolor is a true Marxist. They still and enrich themselves. And that's what really the Israelite woman does. Starting with the so-called black woman. It says a uh, conservative, conservative author. Well, I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but it says, uh, yeah, she, she damn sure the um train um train. She's definitely trained. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Candace, Candace on she, damn, she has my respect because she's unapologetic and. Hold on real quick. Yeah. All right. She has my respect because she's unapologetic in her approach. She is telling you what she is. She's a Marxist. Marxists steal money from other people. And then they enrich themselves. And uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure she made a bunch of money. Because, you know, he's eating my... <laughs> They have a lot of guilt, so they just donate money to try to justify themselves. And plus, they hear the real men of the scriptures prophesying. So she has stolen money from other people on a pretext of a lie that is Black Lives Matter. And, you know, as soon as you go into their um, website, it tells you to. That's like it tells you that they want to destroy men, masculinity. And she has enriched herself, and she has bought for four homes. 
you have to appreciate the honesty. They said, Tucker Carlson, Al Sharpton must be looking at this and saying, I've been doing this for 40 years. Where did I go wrong? I don't have a house in Topanga King. That's all I'm going to read on this one. Um, like I said, you know, I don't, I didn't, this is pretty much, I'm just doing this through the spirit. But, um, yeah, Patrice Cullors, 1.4 million. What's up, real fan? I'm your host, Niall Campbell. Fuck up. It says, uh, Patrice Cullors, 1.4. Home draws criticism call for investigation. So, yeah, it says the head of Black Lives Matter of Greater New York is calling for an investigation to Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors over a million dollar real estate purchases she made in recent years. Cullors 37 has reportedly purchased four high-end homes for $3.2 million in the U.S. alone per New York Post, including property in mostly white area of Topanga Canyon in L.A. County, 1.4 million. There you go. Look at this bitch. Fuck it, man. Yo, listen. E- man, I can imagine how much money this bitch. Hey, that, 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 so that shows you, you know, that this is another spit in your face of you so you dummies that are um, protesting. And you, recently, you just had another protest that went on in, um, Norfolk, Virginia, and they walk right past the camp, and it's funny as hell because you know the same thing, you know, you know, up outcry, they being um, guided by the same people that that they're crying out about. But let me see, uh, yeah, man, there you go. But um, that's pretty. This bitch. Fake ass fist pump. I'm gonna bring for the scriptures now. Let me see. First Timothy. I'm sorry, verse nine. First Timothy six and. Oh yes, I'm sorry, verse seven. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. You know, and if we had really, you know, our people really had order and guidance, you know, a woman would know that her humbling, her her, her state of being a woman, nurturing, you know, it's more. But um, then she would find a righteous man, which her father would give to her, if not her brother. Or so forth. And you know that man will raise. You know raise the family. Have children. And, you know a man will provide for his house. And that man will have, will be a man with integrity. A Hebrew Israelite. You know he will strive to be. You know to keep the Lord's statutes. Come to the best of his ability. In his. Um, you know in his captivity. You know he will give praise and honor. To Yah Bashan Shah. And he will go out there and teach. You know, he will keep his house in order. And, you know, pretty much that's, you know, we're here in this captivity, our, our, our sacrifice and our time is to be dedicated to Yahweh Shah to get up out of this captivity, not make fucking riches or scam or be a nigga or be greedy. You know, you got to be content with the Lord blesses you because uh, pretty much, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're under curses, but it said, but they that will be rich fall into temptation. You see that, right? And, and every so-called black from every, from the so-called um, from Judah all the way to Issachar, all the tribes want to be rich. But what happened? Why you, why do you fall into temptation? There's nothing wrong with you know having money, but what, how? Why do you fall into temptation? Because in order to get money, in order to really get riches here in this society, you got to go to the devil which is the so-called white race, and they're going to give you the riches that they give you, and you're going to be doing a whole lot of um, wickedness, humiliating, degrading. And w- and one thing that Esau loves to do is have you pretty much uh, put a blemish on your own people, turn your own people out, a lot of your own people. It's a temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. There you go. Foolish and hurtful lust. So it's the foolish thing that um, this bitch did. She 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 lied. She put her face all over the, the you know the face the media to 
make it seem like she's for a cause, but she's not. Hurtful lust was drone men in destruction and perdition. So this bitch pretty much, uh, hey yeah, man, she might come out. You know, they might kill this bitch, you know. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Um, bear with me. Um, let me see. Proverbs 28 and 25. He that is, that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife. There you go. Because hey, I'm pretty sure she's about to stir some things up. You know? Because she... God damn. Four homes all in a total of $3.2 million. So this... I can, you know, you can imagine what the other ones made. Um, You know, you can imagine what... How much... I mean, that's crazy. You know, people who do, actually donated... Man, I can imagine. You know, they're making money. You know, they they got their own shirts, T-shirts, face masks, whatever. You know, but it says, But he that put his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. So really, the ones that, you know, we what we're doing, you know, we're about to be made uh, fat, you know. Meaning, you know, we're going to get blessed, you know, with extreme riches. With the riches that's, that's gonna, never going to end. But see... Her, her time is running out, you know, them riches, is, she pretty much bought them houses for nothing, just to be, you know, them houses are going to be nuked, hey man, you know, she done taken her name, you know, shit is coming out, so, I mean, regardless of uh, Esau cleaning her up, or, you know, whatever Esau does, he, he, you know, it's a, it got to be a blemish or some type of shit on your name, and then, you know, Esau will hide you, or, you know, put you away, but, again, it's not worth it on this side. It says Hebrews 13 and let me see. Yeah, um, the Heavenly Father is very, was very uh, adamant about, you know, covetousness because it's, that's the world that we live in. And that was part of Israel, our fourth, um, <laughs> Israel's problems in before time. They cov they covet, they coveted and they, uh, you know, they were lust. They was, you know, you look at the um those wicked kings and those Israelites in the past. You know, one of the reasons why we're in this predicament is because our people coveted, co coveted, coveted things, man, wickedness. You know, it says uh, Hebrews thirteen and five, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Um. Luke 12 and 15, let me see. You know, um, so I got that out of sneeze. Luke 12 and 15, this is what, you know, um, Yahweh yeah, Shah. Was saying, he said, it said, he said to them, take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists consists of not in the abundance of things which he which he possesses, you know. So it doesn't, you know, a lot of, you know, our people have been so broken here in this captivity. The reason why our people yearn for mansions, Bentleys, Range Rovers, um, you know, the, the fancies of the fancy. Because our people have no value. Because our people, pretty much, they don't know who they are. They don't realize that they, we are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. And we, and what makes us so special? Why? Because we have the Lord so near to us. Going back to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, you know. We have, the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. So what does that make, made us, what happened when he did that? He made us holy and separate. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, he made us above all nations. You know, so we don't have to be out here looking for or trying to put ourselves in heavy debt and heavy burdens to try to make, try to make, to pretty much try to make ourselves somebody in this society. You know, we're nothing, you know. Um, Proverbs eleven twenty four. there's that scattereth and yet increaseth. You know, there you go. She scattereth, you know, she broke up, you know, 
you, you, um, what is it, prior years before, you didn't hear nothing about Black Lives Matter, you know? Here it is, we've been, we been out there pushing Hebrew Israelites, you know, we were Hebrew Israelites, you know, but, you know, here it is, she's scattering and, you know, mis blinding, I mean, leading, bro, you know, putting up a stumbling block for, for the two-thirds, you know, which is all, you know, all done by the will of Yahweh, Shem, Shabbat, you know, brothers understand my point. It said, and there's he, there's that scatterer, and yet increaseth. So, through that lie that she did, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, this and that, you know, hey, she, bitch got money. She, 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 you know, she, she became a baller. But hey, and there's, and there is that withholder more than his meat, but attendant to poverty, you know. So, all in all, is what she's doing is 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 for nothing. It's for naught. First John two and sixteen is uh, let me see the verse sixteen for all that is in this world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life and this is uh, very important to you Israelites who come in this truth for you know this is pretty much your day to day walk you should never be able to be bought off with money. You should never have a price on your fucking head. You, you know, you got to remember, man, you know, this devil destroyed our nation. You should want blood. You should want payback. You know, fuck out of here, you know. You know, ain't no... Man, fuck out of here, man. Fucking money. You know, Jake killed me with this shit, you know. Jake, you know, even before I came in this truth, man, you know, I hated the fucking, you know. You know, of course I got distorted, you know, through throughout life. You know, you know, you, want, you know, going through life and... You know, they try to say, you you know, you're the bad guy, you wrong for me, you know, but, you know, I, I you know, I, I hated the so-called white man, you know, and, and I knew, you know, it, it had to be payback for this, you know, because it was a lot of pain, you know, I mean, this, I mean, this look at our, our predicament that we're in, you know, he really fucked us up, you know, destroyed us as a nation, he broke us, you know, took our, man, he did a work, he did a, he did a marvelous work. But it says, uh, yeah, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of, of Yahweh abideth forever. So, this is, what we're doing is going to abide forever, and we're going to be uh, established. So, we had no reason to sell out. Proverbs 15 and 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. There you go, simple and plain. Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. He that loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, but he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also his vanity. It says, uh, Sirach 14 and 3, which is a not comely for a niggar. Why? Because they're greedy. And, you know, they, it, it, you know, they don't care. How they get it, as long as they get it, you know. They don't care, they got a cutthroat, lie still, doesn't matter. And what should an envious man do with money? You know, so they, you, man, somebody plain. She's envious, she's hateful, she's jealous, you know, she, she's all about herself. You know, she doesn't care for the nation of Israel, her people. She don't care about so-called black people. She's envious. You know, she's jealous. You know, she, all she's worrying about is, is, is up and uh, over up and over and over her own people, you know. It's them, I think it's what four of them, you know. They, they, you know, what they doing for the so-called black man, you know. You know, at least when you know when so-called black men get money, they, you know, again they look out for their nation. When the so-called black women get money, she's she wants to compete. She wants to sit neck to neck to the so-called white men and, and other men. The fuck out of here, man. Sirach 30, there's a lot of these, um, let me, uh, let me see some, well, I'm gonna just pull up what I have, so it's gonna be all over, Sirach 31 and 5, he that loveth gold shall not be justified, he that father cor cor follow corruption shall, shall have enough thereof, so, there you go, the bitch wanna chase gold, she want the good life, you know, but, Corrupt, it's all corruption. Cause he sat her down and gave her the game. So, um, 
sixth chapter, go have been the ruin of many, and their destruction was present. Yeah, man, you might find these bitches dead, dead somewhere, you know. <laughs> thirty-one, uh, Sirach thirty-one and seven. It is a stumbling block to them that sacrifice unto it. So there you go. You know, you uh, this is all you do. This is uh goes into the, the scripture the verse. I mean, before you know. So if you uh, this is this is all your energy consists of. You wake up thinking about it during the day. You think about it. You go to sleep thinking about it. Hey, bro. It's a stumbling block. It's going to be a stumbling block. And every fool shall be taken thereof. There you go. So, uh, verse 8. The blessed is the rich that is found without blemish and have not gone at the gold. Verse 9. Who is he? And we will call him blessed. Who's going to be blessed? The, the elect. Why? Because we didn't sell our own people out. We try to help our people. Going into uh, what is it? Um, Ezekiel. Then it goes into um, mark them that sigh and cry, and you know the um the other scripture talks about um, I think it's verse thirty three. It talks about um, being a watchman. You know, warning and letting our people know what's about to come. You be blowing the trumpet. Because we see what's about to come. You know, we see bloodshed and Jacob's trouble coming. We're forewarning our people. But this bitch, she ain't do shit. She put her, her she running, she putting her people right in the fucking hell's fire. Right in the midst of the battle. So she has a lot of blood on her hands. You know, both of all them bitches that's in the Black Lives Matter, the owners. You know? Um. Yeah, I'm in it with this verse 24. But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur. And, and you go, you're gonna have a lot of people, you know, talking. You know, you know what's, what what she did, and the testimonies of his niggardness, his greediness, because the nigger I mean a, a greedy, a greedy person, shall not be a doubted of. So, you know, it's a blemish on her name, man. She she you know that so called Black Lives Matter thing is not looking too good. You know, so, you know, if you, Jake, so-called black men, black women, Latina, so-called Latino, Latino woman, because you, because uh, you, I saw a video, even the so-called Native Americans was, they was vouching for, and all, fuck all that, you know, stay away from it. It's all witchcraft and sorcery and enchantment that's been done by Esau, you know, but, hey, I'm going to end it with that. Those women have edified, whatever, say, shut them all.